Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my June favorites. I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in quite a while, so I figured we would get back into it and just talk about a few things that I've been loving, not just last month, but within the last couple of months, because like I said, I haven't done a favorites in a while. So I'm not going to ramble too much. I'm just going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start out with some beauty products that I've been loving this past month, the past couple of months, and I'm going to start with two foundations that I wanted to talk about. One is high-end and the other is drugstore. So I'm going to start with the drugstore one, and it is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Foundation. I can't remember if I've talked about this or not on my channel, if I've ever used it, but I just really, really love this foundation. It's so great. Mine is in the shade 95 Coconut, which I think is the deepest shade. It might be, or I'm not sure, but it's a gorgeous shade no matter what. I love this foundation. It's really nice and soft and velvety, and it almost has like a moussey like texture. Um, something I will say about it is that it is extremely matte, so you have to work this product in quickly or else it will dry very fast. My favorite way to apply this foundation is with a damp beauty blender or real technique sponge. You need that dampness from the sponge because like I said this product does dry very quickly to kind of help work the product in. Um, that's just the best way that I found. I've tried to blend it out with um, brushes, um, flat top kabukis, any other type of brush and I found that it's just the product just dries too quickly like you can't buff that product in with a brush quick enough because that's how fast it dries and becomes matte so I really like applying it with the beauty blender um it's a really nice coverage I would say this is probably medium to full coverage you, a little bit definitely goes a long way if you like full coverage you can definitely build to it I just love Maybelline foundations I have the dream pure BB cream I have the Maybelline um what is it? Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which is another one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So Maybelline just really knows how to kill the, the drugstore foundation game. Like, they are so good at it. The high-end foundation that I want to talk about is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I have had this for quite some time, and I don't think I've ever talked about it on here, but I love this foundation, you guys. It is absolutely amazing. The coverage is definitely full coverage, and let me tell you how I found out the wrong way. So I picked this up, and I remember the first time I used it, I was just like putting it all over my face, and then I was trying to blend it out, and I was like, oh my god, like... I was a little bit worried about the shade. Oh, I'm in the shade um, 28 Clove, which, again, this might be the deepest shade or... I don't know if it's the deepest shade or not. Anyways, it's up there. <laughs> um, but I kept going back and forth in Sephora with this shade Clove and the shade before it, which is Amber, if I'm not mistaken. I kept going back and forth because I wasn't sure which shade was the right one for me. I swatched them both on the back of my hands, and I ended up going with Clove because I felt like... I could work with this one better. So, I picked it up and I put it all over my face and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is, this is the wrong shade. But it actually turns out that I was just using way too much of it because this is a foundation and a concealer in one. So you don't need a lot of product because it is so full coverage. And I'm someone who I'm used to, I'm used to really using more like medium to full coverage foundations because I don't really feel like I need full, full coverage. But this one is amazing, you guys. So once I figured out that a little bit only goes a long way, I just started putting a little bit less product on and blending it out, and it looked absolutely gorgeous. My favorite thing, as you guys probably all know by now, is that it comes with this doe foot applicator, which to me is just like the best thing ever. I wish more makeup companies would start doing this with their foundations because, you know, sometimes their foundations are so messy, especially like if it's a pump and stuff and like you don't want it to get underneath your nails if you have long nails and that's just something that I think about. So anyways, the coverage on this is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Totally worth the money. I think it was like $48, $38 or $48. I can't remember, but I definitely think you guys should try it out if you've been thinking about it. There's a ton of makeup tutorials here on YouTube. YouTube talking about this foundation, how amazing it is, so I definitely recommend that you try it out. So staying on the line of foundations, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, you guys should have known that I was going to talk about this, but it is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is amazing. When I tell you that I have really mainly only been picking this over my beauty blender, 
I feel like I've been cheating on the Beauty Blender a little bit, but I love this sponge. It's just so amazing. Like, I love the flat side of it. You see how flat it is? Like, I love that because it's perfect for, like, getting in every little area. It just blends out so nicely. I think I actually like this sponge better than the Beauty Blender. Um, I just feel like it's softer. I feel like it blends out better. Um, that's just my own personal opinion. You can definitely try it out. Not to mention, it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. The Beauty Blender, as we all know, is $20. This is only like $6.99. So, literally, like, it's, you can't even compare the two in price. I just, honestly, I really love the Real Techniques. I think a little bit better than this. That's not to say I'll never buy another Beauty Blender or that I'm not ever going to use it again. I like them both, but right now, this one, this one is definitely winning for me. Next, I have two mascaras that I want to talk about. One is an OG mascara that I've been having for a long time, and the other one is one that I recently picked up, and I'll talk about that one first. So I recently just picked up this e.l.f., and I think it's called the Lash Tint Mascara or something like this. It comes in this really sleek packaging. I really like this, like, silver chrome sleek packaging. It's really cute. Um, and this was, like, $3. I picked it up at Target. I feel like this is a newer product to e.l.f.'s line. I'm not sure how long it's been out, but um, I just saw it and picked it up and decided to try it. What intrigued me was this little tiny, like you can't even, you can't even see the like, the brush, the bristles on it because it's so tiny. But honestly, it's perfect for getting those baby bottom lashes. If you're like me and you have little tiny baby bottom lashes, sometimes it's hard to grasp onto those things and you end up making a mess with your mascara. I find that this is perfect to go in with first to really help elongate my bottom lashes and then that way I can go in with another mascara and really volumize them. So I really only like this for the bottom lashes, which I know sounds crazy just to buy mascara just for the bottom lashes, but honestly it's $3 and I feel like it's worth it. So I definitely recommend this if you have tiny little small eyelashes this really helps to kind of pull them out and elongate them so I really like this the next mascara that I have to talk about is the L'Oreal telescopic mascara this is one of those OG mascaras that I've had for quite some time but I just recently started using again and I just really really love it this is another really great mascara for elongating the eyelashes it just really helps to pull those eyelashes up and out and I just really really love it and it's gold packaging and it's cute it looks like a telescope so I love it. Y'all know that I love L'Oreal um, mascaras. The L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black is hands down my favorite drugstore mascara. And this one is just as good. The last beauty product that I have to talk about is one that I picked up recently. I think you guys saw this in my Ulta haul. And it is the Tarte Tardis Glossy Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Double Tap. I have been obsessed with this lip gloss. I swear I've worn it every single day pretty much for the last few weeks. It is just my go-to lip color right now because it's a gorgeous nude color. Like, look at that. It's just so pretty, and it's a glossy gloss, and I love glossy lips. I love a good matte lip, but I also love really glossy lips as well, and this color is just, like, hands down my favorite type of nude color to wear, so I love this stuff. I highly recommend that you guys try these out. They're super comfortable on the lips. Literally, I can put this on without lip liner or anything because they're so pigmented, and it just looks amazing, so... Definitely pick these up and try them out if you are interested. So next I have a few fashion favorites that I want to share with you guys. I have been so into just like basic shit lately. Like I'm getting back into the basics. I have been living in basic v-neck tees or like just basic jersey tees for the last... I don't even know now. A few months. I am obsessed with them. Like the one I'm wearing right now. It's just a basic v-neck tee. And this is from the Ava and Viv collection at Target. I just recently picked this up. But I don't know what it is about these. So the reason why I like these t-shirts is that they're super comfortable. And you can literally wear them a million different ways. You can wear them super casual with black leggings. You can wear them. You can dress them up with jewelry and like a nice cute skinny jean or something like that. You can also wear them to work because I've totally worn these to work with nice like slacks or tight like skinny black pants. They're also great to work out because the material is really 
like light and breathable so I've definitely worn them to work out in as well so I just love a basic jersey tee and plus most of the time depending on the stores that you go to they're usually on sale or something like that at least the ones that I've been buying are because y'all know I hate to pay full price for anything like mama don't play that so this is one that I picked up recently from H&M H&M had like they have like a 60% off sale online so I picked this one up I think it was only like five bucks but it's just this really pretty like I don't even know what color. It's like a blue with gray undertones, but it's really, really pretty. And this isn't a v-neck. It's like a scoop neck. So I love that one. And then I have another one, a gray one here from Avon Viv. I just, I picked this one up the same day that I picked up this um, black and white one. And these were on sale as well. I think they were like originally $9 or $10, but they were on sale for 6 So I picked this one up. Still has the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. But yeah, it's just a v-neck gray tee. And then I have, these next three are from Old Navy, and I think these were also on clearance as well, or like on sale. They were like seven bucks, I think. So, of course, I have a gray one, v-neck. I have this really beautiful olive green one. I just love this shade. Like, I love olive green, and it's just, oh, it's so pretty. And the material is so soft and so, so nice. It just feels so good on the skin. And then I have this really pretty, like, taupey gray color I, it's definitely like more of a taupey pink color i don't know and then i have some other ones from h&m that i picked up like a dark burgundy red one and like a baby pink one i've just been obsessed with them because they're nice and basic i like the neutral colors you can literally wear them so many different ways so yeah i've been obsessed with basic tees my next favorite have been these nike slide-ons oh my gosh i feel like i'm super late to the game with nike slide-ons because i just haven't ever been someone to want to wear them but i recently picked up this pair here which is like black and white they're not zebra stripes they're just like black and white chevron print with the black nike check and it says nike and then i also have white ones with a black nike check right here and these are super dirty i don't know if you can tell on camera but they're so dirty because i've been wearing them out lately i just love those sandals they're super comfortable and you can literally wear them with your leggings you can put them on with jeans if you want to but yeah they're just super comfortable super easy to put on you can just slide them on go out the door and you're ready so i have been loving my nike slide ons so that's it for my june favorites you guys that's all the stuff that i have to share with you this month and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.